All right, in the last video, and if you haven't seen it, it's in the description below, but we went ahead and did the suggestion box. Um, so what we're going to do today is focus on creating a new user uh, and then testing that user level access with our different permission sets. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to click on the gear and go into setup. We're going to click on users and we're going to click on users down here. I'm going to click on new user. On the right side, this is kind of the most important part, is looking to see what kind of licenses we're going to use. So we're going to use Salesforce platform. We just want a standard platform user. Uh, we, we don't want to give them any system admin, any high level access. We want to do bare bones and see what's going on. On the left side, you're going to see five mandatory fields. We're going to go ahead and fill those in uh, to get us started. And these can kind of be filled in with whatever, as long as the email is an actual email. I highly recommend it being your email so that you can get your email and everything connected so that if you need to get a password reset, you can set that up. All right, now that I've got that in, let's go ahead and hit save. Now that we got that set up, let's go ahead and click on reset passwords. We can send the password to us. We can figure out how to get in and get this started. So once you get the email, I recommend right clicking on that, copy that link address, and then you want a new incognito window. Um, this is going to make it a little bit easier for you to set up. Now that I've reset my password, I've gone ahead and switched over to an incognito window. You just click on the little three dots there and click on new incognito window if you're using Chrome. Uh, this will just allow us to make sure we don't interrupt with the other login that we have. Enter verification code. Uh, and now you are in. You can see there's nothing going on here. I am logged in as that test user. Um, so that's a good start for us. So now we have this information. Let's go ahead and add that permission set to this user. So we go back to the other one. Now back in the org that I am logged in as myself, you can see right there. We're going to go ahead and click on permission sets. Find the permission set that we were working on, which is suggestion box user. That's the one we want to check the user level access for. We're going to click manage assignments. And we're going to add an assignment For our test user, click Assign. Now that I'm in the incognito window, if I refresh, you actually see a suggestion box pops up. It's the only one they should have access to. So we can actually come over here and click on New, and they can create one. You'll notice that our setup, when we did for the permission set, was restricting access to so the status, can't be inputted, the implementation date, none of that. We can just pick our name and select the category. We can put more details and save. And you can see over here, they're able to edit. They're able to clone. They don't have any other options. Um, they, they can't delete. Uh, they can only edit this field, this field, and this field down here. Um, number of days open, implemented date, those things are going to be automated or taken care of from the admin side. So we have checked our user level access for our permission set using a separate user. If you're using a sandbox, um, one of the steps you could have done was when you go back into and you're looking at the user, um, enterprise level full size sandboxes will let you go and log in as that user if you are logged in as a system admin. It's a shorter um, way to do this. This is also a full test that we're able to go in, log in as that user, be able to go to that um, using an incognito window. Thanks for watching.